still lower inventories with no intentions to expand. The USDA September Hogs and Pigs report places the September 1st inventory of all hogs and pigs at 73.8 million head, up about 1.8% from last quarter, but down 1.4% from last year, and just below the pre-report expected range of 0.4% to 1.2% lower. The lower than anticipated inventory basically reflects that market hog and breeding herd inventories are both slightly lower than a year ago, but still not terribly far from pre-report expectations. Each class of market hog inventories is down compared to the same time last year. The number of hogs in the heaviest two weight classes of 120 to 179 pounds and over 180 pounds are down 1.2% and 1.5% respectively from a year ago. The somewhat smaller number of heavier weight class hogs, which will soon head to slaughter, may help somewhat to temper the seasonal price declines this fall. Looking further out, the under 50 pound and 50 to 119 pound classes both come in 1.6% lower than last year. Overall, compared to a year ago, there are now 1.5% fewer hogs weighing less than 180 pounds, which will be the market hogs arriving at processing plants from October 2022 through February 2023. The decline in lighter weight class hogs partly reflects that the June to August pig crop is 1% below last year, just below the range of pre-report expectations, with about 1% fewer sows farrowed and 11.13 pigs saved per litter, very close to the average uh, of litter rates observed over the same period last year. The smaller pig crop should imply a similarly smaller slaughter this winter. Fairing intentions for the fall and winter, respectively, are down 2.5% and 6 tenths of a percent from the prior year, which suggests that slaughter levels in subsequent periods aren't in any danger of getting much above year-ago levels. Cold stocks of pork have rebounded well, though still have not returned to average pre-pandemic levels. According to the USDA's cold storage report, cold stocks of Pork on August 31st are up 1% from the previous month and 17% from a year ago. Beef stocks are up 1% from last month and 24% from last year, while poultry stocks are up 2% from last month and 11% from a year ago. The USDA forecasts U.S. per capita pork consumption at 51.3 pounds per person in 2022, with the number rising to 52.2 pounds in 2023 which would be the first time it exceeded 52 pounds per person since COVID-19. Hence, domestic demand appears to be steady to higher. Looking to the world market, the U.S. exported 484 million pounds of pork in July, or about 5% lower than in July of 2021. The story is the same as it has been for much of 2022, with positive exports to most countries that have free trade agreements with the U.S., except for Canada, which is down 21% from July of last year. Meanwhile, appreciation of the dollar is contributing to generally lower exports to much of Asia, except for South Korea, which is up 12% from July of last year. Based on expectations of continued lower export demand, the USDA estimates that uh, U.S. pork exports will be 1.53 and 1.82 billion pounds, respectively, in the third and fourth quarters of 2022, with the total for the year approaching 6.5 billion pounds, or about 8% below last year. Just slightly higher pork exports of 6.515 billion pounds are forecast for 2023. Now, despite the softening of export demand, tighter supplies should continue to help prop up prices. The forecast presented here is for the national weighted average net price on a carcass basis for all transactions for producers sold barrels and gilts, including negotiated and contract prices. This net price should be more reflective of what producers receive on average and often averages a premium of more than $2 a hundredweight over the base price. But for the period of high prices from June through August, averaged $110.86 a hundredweight compared to $123.68 a hundredweight for the corresponding net prices for negotiated or spot transactions. In general, hog prices tend to be higher in the second and third quarters with lower prices in the first and fourth quarters. Consistent with that pattern, prices are forecast to drop to an average of $92.85 a hundredweight for the fourth quarter of 2022, reflecting a balancing of expectations for both lower supplies and exports for the near term. 
For 2023, prices are forecast to average $91.19 a hundredweight in the first quarter and then rise seasonally to $99.41 a hundredweight and $101.28 a hundredweight in the second and third quarters. However, if supplies prove larger than anticipated or exports continue to soften, lower prices may be realized. For the University of Illinois and Western Illinois University, I'm Jason Franken.